I am at one of my favorite gardens to be in the summer. I'm at Swan Island Dahlias in Canby with Nick. And Nick, it is beautiful out here as always. Really, really nice right now, right? Just getting that new burst of fresh new blooms without a lot of old blooms on the plants. It's really kind of the time that I like the best is oh, the plant. Sure. Everything looks fresh and, fresh and new. Uh, so we invite everyone to come out because the fields are open. But I wanted to talk today about all the different flower types of dahlias. I don't know of any other flower that has so many different types. I mean, look at this one. This is one of the big daddies. Um, I, I don't know the name. Emory Paul. Okay, and then this little tiny one, and they're both dahlias. Right, they come in so many different sizes, shapes, styles, heights. Some grow, you know, 12 inches high, some grow six feet tall. Every variety has its own unique characteristic. Yeah, can you call out some of these, and maybe some of your favorites, but look at that red one. Yeah, now that's what we call uh, Red Devil. It's a cactus style. When they have the long spiky petals, you, it's a cactus style. It's just a classification by the American Dahlia Society. And then you can get into collarette types, which are an open centered with a collar around them. Um, basically, these are a decorative, which is more of a, a called a formal deck. Uh, Waterly style, probably the, the number one arranging type flower for arrangements, arranging, uh, it makes it easy, a new style. Uh, people just seem to flock to those for arranging. You have an unusual wow, look uh, at orchid style, mm -hmm. which is, that's honka, it's an orchid style. It's been around quite a while because of the petals all go to a point, but there's only one row of petals, so it's a so, little. So different, <clears throat> I mean, that looks like some kind of a daisy. I mean, I would say maybe right, just a daisy kinda, or something. Right, Then you have like anemone styles, which are a, kind of a pin cushion with a row of petals around the outside. Um, and you can get into where you get lacinated, where the petals are split on the ends, where they've been like like sheared a little bit. Uh, they really, I mean, there's cactus styles, decorative styles, but in each cactus and decorative, there's different inner inner varieties and inner types that they can classify them on down for people to show them in shows. They get mm. really technical about oh, I bet. size and what classification they should go into and color color classifications. You know, this one and this one's kind of an unusual one when you showed Emory Paul. This oh, is actually a, this is actually a cousin uh. from that one. Once in a while, you get genetic sports mm -hmm. where they'll rarely change color, but this has the the magenta stripe in it that came from that one. But the plant itself turned into what they call a variegated with the stripe wow. in it. So they're both have the same plant characteristics, same size bloom, uh, same tubers basically. Looking at them but it just has a different color in them. Wow. Is there any color that you're striving to get? You know, they're trying to get like the blue rose or the... Always trying to get blue dahlias. Yeah. That's, that's the, the magic thing. And, <laughs> you know, we get into things that we call, like, we call this beautiful. It's a bluish lavender, you mm -hmm. know. So anytime you can get something that's close to the blues and put blue in the name, it helps sell them a lot. <laughs> this is one of our favorites that we plant right here. Oh, it's so so people can see it. Because a lot of types of dahlias, I many times like the plant as much as the bloom hmm. because if you get a nice plant that's very stocky and easy to contain and bushes out really well and then puts your bloom on top it's very attractive in the garden sure so some flowers make great great show flowers or great cut flowers but don't have the near attractive plant hmm. so beautiful is one that just it's a great cut flower it's a great plant wow. uh, it's stocky and sturdy and it's one of my favorites. Ah, oh, one to remember. <clears throat> well, you know, for home gardeners, what should we be doing for our, our dahlias in our garden right now? Well, right now, basically, you know, we're getting into the warmer weather, so you always would watch for spider mites, which mm. start on the bottom of the plants. And if your bottom leaves are turning yellow, then you may definitely need to spray for mites. But extremely important to heavy water this time mm. of year. <clears throat> Much better to water one time a week and water it eight inches down than to go out every morning at five minutes with a hose sure. because People say they water them every day, but they're not blooming right. Well, that water doesn't go down deep enough to the tubers, and if they, if they can't absorb proper moisture, you'll get a kind of a green plant that goes in dormancy uh, and just sure. looks healthy and looks and stays there, but very, very few bloom. But make sure the plants have got full sun too to, to get more blooms. Um, make sure you cut the old blooms off. The, okay. Everywhere you cut the dahlia, it branches out more. So you get more, nice. more stems and that's more the blooms. Best part. <laughs> <laughs> and I know the festival is coming up. So that's the last weekend of um, August and Labor Day weekend. weekend. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Ah, and things will be going on. I know you have classes. You can see all the beautiful cut flower displays. Yeah, we're 15,000 blooms indoors, wow. professionally arranged, uh, like 400 and some arrangements. We do uh, talks on growing dahlias, uh, talks on arranging dahlias. Uh, we have a tuber dividing uh, Ooh, demonstration. You know, fresh cut flowers available. Food vendors are here. Um, we're going to have live music this year. Oh, fun! Um, so it's a big, you know, a lot of picnic tables, a lot of places to sit and enjoy your lunch. Uh, just a great day to. 
come oh, out and enjoy the yeah. walk through the fields of flowers. We have pathways for you to stay on and walk down and look at all the varieties in bloom. And that way you can you can go to the inside arra- inside arrangements and see what the flower looks like. But sometimes you're not attracted to the flower as much on the plant, mm-hmm. maybe as you are in arrangement. And sometimes you're more attracted to the one on the plant than you know. It can be vice you versa. Gotta you gotta see may, it all. Yeah, you gotta see it all. You, that way you can compare how they grow. Because you may walk down there and think it's a, a three foot tall, tall plant and walk out and it's six oh, or seven feet. Right. You're going, I don't want it that tall. Some people ask, the new thing I think in landscaping is you get shorter varieties. Right, so right. We, we have a section that we grow a lot of, uh, you know, three foot and under plants, which are easy to take care of. So much to see. There's so much to see. And really to bring the family out because there's places to picnic. You can bring a blanket, bring the kids, bring the camera and yeah, come out definitely. and talk to all the staff because it's really um, a fun plant to have in your garden and to have cut flowers inside too. So come out and see Nick and everybody here. Thanks so much. Right. Thanks, Judy.